Okay, hello. I haven't gotten the game open yet because that was a lot shorter than I thought it was. Back. Okay. Chat's open. I get the Nintendo 64 up here. And as usual, I have to redo this. Um, that, please. There we go. It's very small. I wish I could make it bigger, but there's not really <laughs> any way to do that without it looking just absolutely absurd. All right, so we started another three-day cycle. First thing I have to do is turn my volume down. Uh, first thing is getting, um, I can get, you know what I forgot to do? Wait. Okay. Uh. Anyway, I forgot to change my controller settings again, so it's still off, which is really cool. Um, but I will do, um, try to do some of the, the trading stuff with the, um, Fucking Deku Scrubs. I'll try to do some of that. Go ahead and do some of these little baby hops. Careful. I was about to be all worried because I didn't have any arrows. I was like, no! Gather up some of this stuff. He looked like he hurt his ankle going up the stairs. Alright. So that'll fall down. I'll take that. And I'll work on getting the, uh, the title deed in Fuck. in Lulu's room. At the very least, I don't remember where the one in Icona Valley is, though. Okay. And we also need to stop uh, Sakon from stealing the old woman's bomb bag so that I can get the all night mask which will get me another piece of heart from Anju's grandmother who tells you a story but like she'll give you a piece of heart if you can like stay awake for all of it and I think she does it for two stories actually oh, shit fuck ow fuck her. There. That was really fucking difficult. But I did get the bottle for playing Dompe's game under the graveyard, which is another thing I have to go do because that's how we get the Song of Storms. But you can't do that until night, so. 
that was amazing. <laughs> but I'll work on gathering up some rupees so I can buy the all night mask because it costs like 500 rupees. Um, killing the bird out in Termina Field would be a good way to gather up some rupees, I guess. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of things that I could go do right now. Because there's not a lot. I still have this, but that's way later once I do the Anju and Cafe quest line. Um, this is the stone mask, fierce deity mask, the, like, marriage mask, Gorman's, the cow and the Gibdo, Keaton mask, postman and all night mask. Um, shields come later. Yeah, for now I'm kind of done. I just need to do this, like, quest. Though I think what kind of messed me up last time was I have to, um, like, I have to finish the boss, I think, of, um, the, like, water temple to actually give the business scrub, um, the spot that he wants. Whoa. There he go. Um, let's see. And as for items, we have the light arrows, which are kind of like story driven, I think. Yeah, because they're in, like, the last dungeon, I think. Okay, I need to, <laughs> I need to go to the southern swamp. Um, the great fairy sword, which is a reward for getting all the fairies in the stone tower temple. And then really, like, there's not a lot more items to gather up. Okay. And I've given paper to the, uh, the guy in the toilet. <laughs> so I don't have to use these. For him, at least. But I've gotten all the upgrades for rupees, bombs, and arrows, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. Now, I wonder, if I go to the one in Zora Cape, would he take this town deed from me? That noise is really awful. I don't know if he just wouldn't move if it was because I didn't have the right kind of title deed, but we can check it out. Uh, see ya. Get in there. Okay. 
Okay, and he won't take it from me as like a child either. <laughs> Yeah, so I think I have to um, beat the boss. I also need to go see Joppas and do the jam session thing with him. But first, you have to get the like notes that he wants you to play. So real quick, I need to like... Yeah, we'll pause and listen to that, because I need to get a notepad open. Okay. <laughs> Link's moving too fast. Now I have my part, but, ow, the important part of this is having, also having Japas, um, Japas's, Japasas, <laughs> Japas part. Because once you get it, you can play it for, um, Evan and he will give you a piece of heart, I think. Bitch, just talk to him. Talk to your friend. Huh. Ah. Huh. Okay. So then once they're done doing this, <laughs> um, you go play this for Evan, the whole thing, and he will give you a piece of heart, I believe. I love that guy, like, grooving out. Alright. <laughs> what do you think we should do? I'm gonna go play that song for that son of a bitch. <laughs> He'll have to like it. Okay, okay. <laughs> Were you guys secretly writing a song behind my back again? Isn't songwriting the job of the band leader? What, you're not happy with my songs? Anyway, Macau, did you get an empty bottle that you can use to carry the eggs in? One bottle can only hold one egg, so you can never have too many empty bottles. I told you that the beavers above the waterfall on Zora Hall Coast have empty bottles, right? If you don't have any yet, Mikhail, you should go there before heading off to the Pirate's Fortress. I thought, <clears throat> I thought he was supposed to give you something. Oh, 
Huh? That song? Hmm. It works, it works, it works! Oh, so he steals your idea. I love his, like, gross fishbone keyboard. Not bad. It's a pretty good song I just made up. You've got a good sense of melody. We'll play my new song at our next show. Take this and thanks. He's such a cunt. You're not thinking I'm stealing your song, do you? Like, that's kind of what it is, but... Alright. Well, at least that's out of the way. I can go... Real quick, like, just... Kill Georg to... Return peace to the ocean. I believe she is out this way. It's not even noon yet. <laughs> I'm gonna get a bottle out though so I can grab a fairy just in case. Alrighty, um, I can't. Can I just go up there? Or do I have to wake it up first? Ah. Wake up, turtle. Fuck, I can't remember this song. Was that not it? Mm -hmm. Fuck. There. This one's hard for me because there's no A presses. <laughs> like, it's all on the C's, and like, that fucks me up. Okay, we'll just put this down here. sure if this is like going to let me do what I need to do and if it doesn't I will just look it up <laughs> how to actually get him to like take this fucking paper from me because even <clears throat> yeah cool throat problems now even when I had the next um, the next title deed, it wasn't, like, what I needed, I guess. He wouldn't take it from me, so. Gains you unmasked fish. All oh, right, I should have come down here as normal Link.
I'll try to do this a little more like gracefully this time than how I did it last time. Last time was admittedly a big shit show. Fuck. Get up there, Link. Get up there, Link. Aya. Uh... <laughs> Let me go. Ah. Okay, just... Says it's not gonna be as big of a shit show. Turns it into a bigger shit show than last time. Where's he at? He's really fucking scary when he, like, just stops moving and steers you down. Ah. <laughs> and then he unhinges his mega jaw. Ah! Whoa, Link. Uh, rip. Where is he? You know, you would think that it would be easier to keep track of a giant fucking fish. Oh! Oh fuck, Link. I'm really surprised that didn't actually hit him. There we go. That wasn't nearly as bad as the first time. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> yeah, just, you know, blast your head into the side of the wall. Yeah, that wasn't, that was not nearly as bad as it was when I did that last night. <laughs> All right, anyway. Hello. Okay, real quick. Let's see. Oh, okay. I see what you have to do. I'm just dumb. <laughs> oh, well. It's nice outside now. And now we can see that place in all of its, like, spooky glory. Alright, let's go back to Lulu's room. Which is over here. Actually, I don't need to go to Lulu's room yet because I don't have the other... The other title deed. Hello. Tying up some, like... I say loose ends, but... I guess tying up some loose ends. <laughs> no problem. You and I should, um, trade, like, creator IDs or whatever. Whatever they call that, um. Let's see, the scrub is in... Yeah, um, I can send it to you on, like, Discord. Aren't we, like, I think... <clears throat> I think we're already friends on, like, the Switches thing, but... The, I think you have to have a different number thing for Mario Maker. I've made, I make very like basic short levels. Like I spend so long making a level and then I play it and it literally takes me like 
maybe a minute to finish it. <laughs> I wish it wasn't so, like, difficult to actually kind of, like, find each other on Mario Maker. Okay, so we've got the Swamp Title Deed. But yeah, um, I'll send you a message on Discord. And send you my creator ID. <clears throat> you know, I read um, this thread that someone had put together. He was, I think, like a game dev that wrote up something about how to make levels in it and like it was actually really helpful and one of the biggest takeaways that I have was um basically like have a running concept that you want to like be your level like basically set it out on like okay well you want them to use like the fire flower and then make the level based on the fire flower, like, you know, using it and not just like a cop out of like, make sure you cross the finish line with the fire flower. <laughs> but it was, I, just, I don't know that I read the whole thing cause there was a lot and I was like, shit, I have things I need to be doing. But it was a really interesting read because I mean, fuck, I've never really given much thought to my Mario Maker levels, but you know, Visually, I like to make them fun, but, you know, this guy had, I think he had actually published a book about it, and he, like, reposted a lot of it for when Mario Maker came out. If I can find it, I can, like, send it to you or something. It was just a really interesting read, because I never really thought about, you know, what would go into making a level. Okay, so we'll talk to this man. I'm sure I, I guess I didn't read that, but whatever. Alright, this will give us the water one. The mountains are calling me! Bye! Yeah, I play more levels than I, I make levels. <laughs> I find it more fun to play them. Like, making them is fun, but it's not what I love, I guess. It's honestly not what I play Mario Maker for. It's just so I can go through and play other people's levels. Like... I've been doing a lot of the, um, oh, the, like, endless challenge, and I'm, like, the rank thing that it gives you, I'm, like, 200, or, like, 20,000, whatever that means. <laughs> Sorry, I had to close the little page there. Yeah, I don't know, because it goes up higher when you beat one, a level, like, on a hard, harder difficulty. Because I've been playing, like, I played 100 levels in easy, and it was, like, maybe 35,000. And then I played, like, maybe 40 in normal, and it's already to, like, 20,000. Um, now what? I guess I'll go back to Iconic Canyon, see if... Oh yeah, I can talk to the... the business scrub there and get a piece of heart from him. Yeah, he's down this way. Oh yeah, there's Sekon. This fucking guy. Nice. Yeah, I'll um I'll add you once I'm done with this. 
<laughs> I know. Let's see, and I assume I need to be Azora for this. <coughs> Thanks for stopping by. You're from the ocean, aren't you? I'm here to sell blue potion. Actually, I want to do business in the sea breeze while listening to the sound of the waves. But to open a business in another place, you need to go through the proper channels first. Do you know what I mean? Oh, if that isn't an ocean title deed, let me have that. Please, if I have that, my dreams will come true. I'm not asking for it for free, I'll give you this. Oh, nice. That's really good. Oh yeah, the nut brown bo beauties are waiting. N no. Oh, nice. I I haven't really played with a lot of the newer features. I made a level based on the poison mushrooms, but that's it so far. Um, well, I guess I can get rid of that. And I made it like... I did one with the, um, the switches, too. The level, um that I'm working on now is basically like all like hail Satan like demons and shit it's like all spiky and lava and fire and like an upside down cross you know just white girl things Did you see him like spaz out when he landed whoa Link Oh shit, is this... <laughs> Fuck, is this not the, the way to... Uh... I thought there was like a cave. Please. Okay, we'll go back to Vicana and not go that way. I have a lot of time to kind of just blow off until um, until I'm ready to do anything, really. Yeah, this is where I thought I was going. There's a fish. Let's see, so what is this? Secret shrine behind waterfall. Now awaiting the challenges of bold visitors, sure of their might. He he he. I vaguely remember this. But let's check out this first. It's probably just bomb chews. Boop. Yeah, it's five of them though. Get us some sticks. Get some sticks and nut. Let's get on in there. I think it's kind of like a gauntlet, maybe? I don't remember. Magic, rupees, arrows. Oh, well, I can't do this right now anyway. I have to have, um, God damn it. <laughs> the light arrows. Because I don't have a way fuck? The fuck is happening up on the ceiling? Oh. <laughs> okay. Maybe not even the light arrows. There might be a way to break that, but... Yeah, thanks. But I'm gonna have to come back once I've gotten further into Icona. I... Th <clears throat> I think the light arrows are actually like the stone tower temple's gift. <laughs> gift. Um, special item, maybe? Um, 
Let's see, I have 30 heart pieces. There's still quite a few left. I'm gonna kind of just pull up a list of them. And we can kind of make a checklist of them. So let's see, we'll check out the ones in Clock Town. Oh, this is the 3D one. I just want the N64. Um, I don't need videos or anything. It's still showing me all of the 3DS stuff. Um, Uh, let's see. Land title deed, the one in the tree, the one for doing the uh, the sword guy. I don't... Um, I killed the pea hat, the one with the Dodongos. I played the game with the shrubs. Um, 3 to 12. On the, or on the second day... Okay, we'll have to do the one with the the guy, the postman. Um, there's a business shrub scrub that'll give me a piece of heart for a hundred rupees. I had to do the Keaton mask stuff, the postman hat. I need climb to the top of the tree. We've got the swamp deed. Um, Take a photo of Deku King or Tingle. I could do that. I've gotten the one at the Deku Palace. Um, oh, yeah. Um, The Kome will play, like, a target game with you. I'll have to do that one. Um, it looks like I've done a good chunk of these, though. Um... I need to get the Scarecrow song, too. A lot of this will require me to get kind of to the end. Oh, there's the game with the fisherman that I didn't do. Um, and all of this is like a Kana Canyon. 5,000 rupees. That one's going to be a bitch. Gathering up 5,000 rupees. Um, okay, well, we'll get back to actually kind of doing this. Um, <clears throat> Come on now. I'm going to go to... Um, let's see. Well, I can go to... Um, the Great Bay Coast and take a picture of Tingle <laughs> and then take it to his dad and he will give me a heart piece for it, which I didn't realize. Um, let's 
I have to pop his balloon. Tingle is so stylish. She, everyone wants a photo of him. No, 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 no. <laughs> Get off the ladder. Oh, there he is. I'm surprised that... Oh! <laughs> got him! His ankles are going to be like in his ears after that drop. Okay, Tingle, look over here. Good enough. Oh, that that sucks. Tingle. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Well, hopefully this will be good enough. Yeah. Um, I can go back to... Um... Clock Town and talk to the postman. He'll play a game where I have to stop the clock on 10 seconds. Which is just as hard as it sounds. But, with the bunny hood, I don't have to do it in my head. Because normally you have to do that without... You know, seeing the the actual time, but with the bunny hood, you don't have to deal with that. It'll keep the uh, the thing like shown. I think he's dead. According to my schedule, it is now my nap time. If my schedule is disrupted by even a few seconds, letter delivery will be delayed. Public service is very hard. Why won't he play with me? <laughs> um, hold on. Maybe I read that wrong. Play with me. God damn it. You, you better, you better play with me. I need to be between, oh, 3 p.m. Okay. My bad. Okay, I'll stop. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm standing above him like, <sighs> Notice me, Mr. Postman. Okay, well, we'll go to the... Um... The woods. It's not really the woods, but the swamp. And one thing to keep in mind is that the last four heart pieces are in the moon. Alright, let's show this guy a photo. <laughs> I hate this guy's eyes. Hey, you didn't take this pictograph in the swamp now, did you? You can't enter the contest with pictographs that weren't taken in the swamp. It is a nice shot, though. You fuck! This is a picture of your son! You should recognize this. Ah. Uh, well, Tingle's close by, so I can take a different picture of him, I guess. Surprised that's like all that came out of that. <laughs> okay, Tingle's a lot farther away than I thought he was. Because this is not the right way. 
let me... Why is it a picture of that? That's not what I took a photo of, but okay. You know what? I'm gonna kill that bird too. Gotcha. Like, at least while I've got the time to do it, I can kill it. No, preferably I would hit him with my sword, but I really don't want to let him get too close. Because I really don't want to have to, like, buy my fucking bottles back from the curiosity shop guy. <clears throat> it, yeah, exact, it's too risky to let him get, like, super close. It's even worse once you've got the, uh, the great fairy sword, because he can steal that. There we go. Though it is kind of surprising how big he is. But that's even bigger. Alright, so let's go take a photo of Tingle. <laughs> right, yeah. I had done ice arrows the last time I killed it, but they didn't seem to really do anything. Anything like separate from what they, you know, normal arrows do. Fuck, that's a really bad, like, shot. <laughs> it's like, take a photo of Tingle's feet. Wait. Pretend I didn't say that. Okay, look this way. God damn it. <laughs> it's so hard to get, like, a good picture of him. Yeah, we'll keep that. Okay, good. It's... Still actually tingle this time. There we go. I like how I did this and I don't even need rubies. I guess today is just don't think day. I still need to do the thing where you um, protect Romani's cart, or well, Kremia's cart, from the Gorman brothers. And I need to play the game with Mama Muyan's dogs. There's still a lot like that that I have to do. Hey, uh. Okay, hopefully this is still a photo of Tingle and not me. <laughs> Whoa, that's my son! Ish, is he still doing that sort of thing? Mm. Oh, how humiliating, this guy. He's my son. As old as he is, he's still doing some pretty silly stuff. I guess I spoiled him too much when I was raising him. But he really is a kind-hearted boy. Well, thank you for going through all that trouble. This is just a small token of my gratitude. Mm, you got another piece of heart. But could you tell my son something for me? Could you, uh, please ask him to not go outside in that outfit anymore? Nah. Tingle's perfect the way he is. Okay. It just became two, so I'm gonna have to basically find T pose, jump into the water, and then find something to do until three. 
Which I guess I can go through the uh, forest and talk with Kome, then get Kotake's potion and heal her. Because then I can take the, um, like the boat ride stuff. Okay, monkey. Mmm, follow me. Show me the way, monkey. It's not that way. Get quiet. Get quiet. Whoa. <laughs> Kome. Will Kome take um a fairy? Cause if she will, I have this. <laughs> okay. I didn't figure she would. I guess I could have bought that before I came out this way. Oh well. I think this way, Kotake will give it to me for free, though. <laughs> there we go. I like how Link was like slanted sideways after he got done with that dialogue with her. <laughs> I didn't mean to like slash at the monkey. Let's give her this. There we go. <laughs> yeah, drink that red shit. So while she does that, I wanted to look at the actual, like, target thing. Um, okay, so I have to beat Odolwa to actually, like, get this part done. Babies. Help! You know, I could probably keep up with them now. I just want to see where they go. Anytime between 3 and midnight, I can go mess around with the- They just disappear. <laughs> I can go mess around with the post office, so... Motherfucker. Okay, so... We need to go to Woodfall now, so I can be Odolwa. Thankfully, they make it really easy to do that. Stick. Alright, so I'm gonna have to get this and this. Alright, and then I'll make that shit come out of the water.
Okay. Odol was not really hard to beat, especially now that I have, like, extra equipment. <laughs> like, I don't think he's difficult after you've actually gotten, like, more things. Odol was probably the only boss I think benefited from, like, the change of the 3DS version. I love the noise he makes. Oh fuck, here he comes. Ow, he fucking kicked me. You know, with my sword upgraded like oh, like it is. Yeah, he won't stand a fucking chance. Oh my god. That was like I just came in and harassed this man. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. He had a wife. <laughs> his wife, his kids, I killed him. I just, I can't believe how easily he went down. <laughs> like, I knew he would because, you know, my sword does, like, double the damage now or some shit. Or, like, even, like, three or four times, maybe, but... And best part is, I don't have to deal with her in there. These, I love these weird, like, tongue flowers. Okay, so that took a lot less time than I uh, had imagined it to. I will go back to the boat place. I don't know why it like doesn't register that first note that I play. Let's see, this is where we're going. It seems the poison swamp has been cleaned up, so why not try something that's more interesting? How about a little game? I'll fly around on my broom and you try to hit my target. Doesn't it sound fun? Well, wanna try? That's the way to go! But let me explain, you're not aiming for me with that bow, you're aiming for the target. If you hit me, I'll never forgive you. <laughs> target practice. Let's see, so where's she at? Oh. I'm gonna hit her. <laughs> Fuck. Off. Oof. I did about nail her. How many of these do I have to hit? Oof. Where the fuck is she? Oh! Getting pretty close with this bow. I'm sure she doesn't- ah! I'm sure she doesn't appreciate me, uh, like, whiff and hit, like, shots by her head. Come on! There we go. Oh, 
fuck? Here we go. Nah, see, like, I love target stuff. Oh. I love the bow, but I am not good at it, like, while I'm moving. Just give me one more. There. <laughs> 25. 25. Pretty good, considering. Well, as I promised. Here, take this. There we go. I guess that was enough. And we got an extra heart container. Now wasn't that fun. If you'd like to play again, come back and see me. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this so much. <laughs> Alright, well, there's that. I'm glad I don't have to play that again. Um, <clears throat> I will go back to Clock Town and play the game with the postman. Yeah, Mr. Postman. <laughs> Four, five, six. Wah! Those ears! Oh, they're fake. You startled me. Don't disrupt my training. In my mind, I am running for exactly ten seconds without looking at a clock. I was in the middle of mental training. You may make fun of me, but this is quite difficult. Will you try? Press A to start. Count 10 seconds. And in the precise moment you think you've hit 10 on the dot, press A again. I hate this. But it's not hard with the bunny hood on. Your time was 10. Huh? 10 seconds? That is amazing! You have reflexes suitable for a postman. As thanks for showing me something impressive, I give you this. And there we go. 33. I can't be like this. I'll have to train more. More! You showed your wild instincts. This was added to your notebook. This fucking pose he does... <laughs> Okay, so... Let's see, um... Now I'm just kind of waiting for night. I'll kind of look through my list of heart pieces that I can get at the moment. Um... Got the post, man. Got the one for the... Um, we'll go to... Well, I don't want to do the one that I can buy the, um, the heart piece yet, because I don't want to use the money. Not until I get the all night mask. Um, so let's see. I've gotten a lot of this stuff. I'll have to go out to, um, Oh, I was like, where'd the music go? I'll have to go out to Romani Ranch sometime. Um, otherwise, there's not a lot I can do right now. I can go teach um, a song to one of the scarecrows. I'm just going to press A a lot. Oh, he doesn't... He doesn't like that. Okay, well then, I will make a new one, I guess. Hmm. 
Okay, hold on. Let me, like, kind of write it down. There. <laughs> Bye! Go back in your, like, piss water, I guess. Okay, so there are two different heart pieces that I can get right now with... Where's the fo Oh. I accidentally, like, turned my headphones down, and I was like, oh no, what happened? What happened to Link's, Link's Ocarina? It just stopped! Okay, so I can go... Oh, we'll go to Snowhead to get there. Actually, I don't think this is the right way to go for it, but... Whatever! Okay, no, this is the right way. <laughs> I love how that almost rolled me over. Oh, I have to go over there. Oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> that is enough. I'm gonna take off the bunny hood, actually. Oh boy. Okay, we'll get the ocarina out and like quickly play the uh, scarecrow song. Oh god, there's a big long like awkward pause in it because I was typing. This is the worst song ever. Oh no. At least there's only two heart pieces that I have to get with it. Oh no, that's fucking terrible. Okay. He needs to stop moving. There we go, number 34. Oh, I can't believe it's this bad. Okay, so now I have to go back to the Great Bay Coast. Um, and while I'm here, I can oh, leave me alone. I can play that game that the uh, fisherman has now. I love all these weird sound effects while you're underwater. Night of the first day. Like that wiggly bird noise. I love it. Okay. You know, I did this yesterday too. I shot at that for like 20 minutes. Okay, so. Is that not the spot that, like, it says? Hmm. Oh, you have to have a plant for it. Well, shit. I don't I can't do that right now. Um Oh. 
Oh yeah, I gotta do the um, frog thing. I can do the frog thing actually. I've got all the frogs that are needed for it. Um, I will look up the time for the old woman in the bomb shop. Let's see, she around midnight on the first night. Okay, so that's one thing I'm waiting on. I mean, I've still got quite a lot of time before then. Six hours. So instead, I will head to the graveyard in Icona and have them... Um get me into the grave in here. Or, fuck. I don't really need this on, but I guess it's good. Oh, Jesus. Um, but this'll... <laughs> fuck. This will, um, get me in so I can learn the Song of Storms, which is basically, like, necessary to progressing like the game in general oh there's none of those stupid like rock monsters i need to come through here at night more often oh and there's no bomb chews out here either this place is amazing at night oh fuck <laughs> ah Oh, well, I don't... Oops. Yeah, just punch the mic. It's fine. I don't need my sword right now, though. Huh? Ah, Captain, sir! Excuse me, sir. Everyone, give the captain your attention. We haven't seen you in some time, Captain, sir. As per your orders, sir, we've been guarding these graves closely. We have all been expecting your next order, sir. What shall we do? Uh, open it? Uh, yes, sir. Everyone, follow me! I love how they do that. <laughs> I also love this guy just having a good fucking time up here. I wonder if you can talk to him. Huh? Oh, Captain, excuse me, sir. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. I'm just having the time of my life. Oh, yeah, this place. Whew. I don't like this. I don't. I don't like this room. Ah. Yeah, just, you know, miss every one of them. Okay, okay, it's fine. Nice! That wasn't so bad. Boop. And 50 rupees that I don't necessarily need. Okay, here. I like how there was absolutely nothing in that. There we go. Oh shit, there's an iron knuckle down here. Okay. Ah! It's okay, I got used to fighting these in the last... Oh, fuck. Ah. 
Oh god. Ah. Gotcha. Now she's dead. I love the atmosphere in this area. Are you the one who freed my soul? I serve the Icona royal family. I am the composer called Flat. The songs connected to the royal family that remain here were all I composed by my brother and I. Oh, Sharp, my dear brother. He sold his soul to the devil and was the one who locked me in here. You who do not fear the dead, learn well the song that is inscribed behind me. And if you ever meet my brother, I'd like you to inform him. The thousand years of raindrops summoned by my song are my tears. The thunder that strikes the earth is my anger. I have made my request. I just leave. <laughs> like, nah. Wait, you have to actually, like, interact with it first. The thousand years of rain drops summoned by my song are my tears. The thunder that strikes the earth is my anger. Here is written the song that shall cleanse his cursed black soul. Keep this song in your heart. Finally, add the Song of Storms to our list. You remembered the Song of Storms. This melody that you've heard before is the turbulent tune that blows away curses. Right. So that's all we have to do in here for now. Because you can't actually reach that side from here. I don't think there's anything over there to actually get to, besides, like, some rupees. Oh god, they're all gonna, like, go nuts, aren't they? Oh, nope. And then s on the second night, I think they're um, all around that stone over there that um, has a heart piece. Actually, though, if I go in here... Oh yeah, see, that's it. That's that's the one that you have to open on the second night. Because I had just remembered that they said something about... Um, <laughs> the, uh... Please. The, uh, the Eyes of Truth. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to Clock Town and kind of wait, I guess. Um, I'm gonna look up. I love how the All Night Mask is like a BDSM mask. Um, okay, so it's the final day that I have to buy the all-night mask so really like there's not much of a reason to be stressing about it right now as long as I stop um suck on from taking the bomb bag from the old woman it'll be fine I can start on the Don Gero um quest line as well Ah, Don Ghetto! It has been so long. What has brought you all this way? Could it be you came all this way looking for me? Ah, you need not say a thing. Upon seeing that face, I understand. Is it true? But I had heard that it is still winter in the mountains. When spring comes, I shall definitely go to the mountains, so let us meet again. Oh, right, I forgot to do that. <laughs> 
La -da 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 okay, anyway. This hat looks so fucking weird. I, I, I like how it covers his eyes. Okay, um... So that was the thing I forgot about. <laughs> I have to actually, like... Beat Gaut first before I can actually assemble the frogs. <laughs> um... So I guess that's not really out of the question at the moment. It's just like, I would rather do that later. Um, let me see what else I could do. Um, I could go play that boat game. Um, let's see. We need to go to the Great Bay Coast. I'll just swim over like a normal person. Please ride the boat to the Fisherman's Island to inquire about playing the jumping game. Oh my god, this might be the like slowest fucking boat in the world. Well, I mean, there he is. <laughs> Just like hook shot onto it. Jesus. Oh, got it. Alright, let's speak to him. Now that the seas are back to normal, I've started a little business aimed at tourists. If you pay 20 rupees, I'll invite you to a jumping game that has a really big prize. If you're up to it, go to that island in the center. Okay. Ooh. Oh, you're up for it. Now then, I'll explain the rules, so listen carefully. I'm going to light the torches on each of the surrounded four islands in a particular order. Jump to the island that has the lit torch. If you can jump to it before the torch goes out, you'll get one point. If you get 20 or more within the time limit, you'll get a big prize, but it'll cost you 20 rupees for one try. How about it? Will you give it a try? Great. In that case, I'll start. I don't like that I, like, can't really see it, but you can hear it. Oh shit, it's over there. Fuck. Oh god, he's making me so nervous. Oh god, I almost, like, missed this island. Just a couple more. Ooh! I mean, hell, I could, like, play it safe right now and, like, not jump anymore. But what's the fun in that? Oh, shit. Wrong island. I like this weird, like, blood splot on the ground when you jump to an island.
Oh! Lord. I love Link's, like, T-pose jump. Oh, hell yeah, 35? <laughs> Alright, that's it! Uh-oh, that was a little too easy. Oh well, here's your prize. We got 35 pieces of heart. And I was thinking of saving up to buy a big ship. Now it looks like I may go bankrupt. Nah, man, you good. It was just one kid. Oh no, I don't want to play again. It was just trying to jump around um so that took up a considerable amount of time um i can go back now to the clock town i'll look through the guy's telescope see the business scrub so that i can buy the heart piece from him especially because i don't get the all night mask until like the last night Um, he is off in North Clock Town. No, East Clock Town. I still have to do, like, all of the stuff related to, like, the Stockpot Inn. I guess after that, we've only got two hours to wait for um, Sakon to try to steal the bomb bag, so I'll, you know, cut his like nuts off. Alright, so. Oh, Skull Kid's out there. There he is. Now you gotta like watch this guy because he'll drop down into one of the <laughs> one of the holes out here and then you can go buy a uh, heart piece from him. He drops into that hole down there somewhere. Oh shit, I'm like way too far over that hole. Oh, there's the big way too. There he is. Alright, so he's in there now. Oh shit, look at the way. Dude. <laughs> Alright. We won't waste too much time. Because I still have to actually go out there and grab that. It won't take too long, though. I can head out, like... Right out from the side, I think. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, because even after this, like, I still have an hour before he'll be through. I hate this fucking guy down here. Um, this is out towards the Stone Tower Temple, so we have to go right. Okay, so up here, 
And you can haggle his price down like a considerable amount from what I think he first requests. Ah, what are you doing here? This is my secret storage unit. It's a problem if you come in here without permission. Please, I'll sell you this piece of heart if you keep this place a secret. 150 rupees for one. Hmm, no good. In that case, you leave me no choice. What about one for 100 rupees? Alright, and there is the 36th heart piece. It's not that I don't believe you, but just to be safe, I'm moving my storage. You hurry up and get out too. This poor scrub. <laughs> Can't get no peace. Alright, so I guess really now I will just go kind of mess around. I'll pick up some like free 40 rupees though. Um, let's see, so... Kai is in West Clocktown, but I'm just gonna... Er, North Clocktown, right? Yeah. He's in North Clocktown, but I'll just go through this way. It's a little easier to just go like this. Okay, and now we just have to wait for midnight, basically. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these. At least gather up some more money. I think I've done most of the uh, like money-based stuff for now. Um, let's see. I'll start from the top again. How many pieces are there? 52. So I'm like kind of a little, I'm more than halfway there. Um, so the next one that I need to get on this list that I can do right now seems to be, um, well, the dog race, um, the one where they destroy the one tombstone. That's a day two thing. Um, the one at the bottom of the waterfall I've done. Um, I have a lot of these. Oh shit. It's almost time. She should be coming through here soon. I think it's about like 1230 when she actually like comes through though. I'll need to buy some magic beans from the guy so I can get the heart piece in the Great Bay. Oh, there she is. I always thought she came from that way. I like how you can see my, like, stupid little ears. This is, like, the slowest thing ever. Got you. It's like you fucking kill him. Yeah, seriously. Slow, and then you just fucking like cut his nuts off. 
I remember as a kid, though, I could, like, not do that to save my life. Thank you. Since he didn't make off with them, I can finally stock bomb bags at our shop. Maybe I'll put them out tomorrow. Well, thanks for helping me. Take care. Um, one thing I can do... I want to look into, um... Helping Kremia. Helping Romani and Crimea. Um, it looks like I can't really do this. I could try to do it, but... Um, should I? Yeah, if only we could stab him. Um, I could really quickly go buy the, uh... powder keg. I mean, it might be possible to still do it with the time that I have left, but... You have to get there at 2 a.m. and it's 12, like, 45. At least powder kegs are pretty cheap. We'll go to Milk Road because you have to save the cows with Kremi or Romani before you can actually help Kremia get to town, which I think gives you the cow mask, which lets you get into the milk bar. Then you can get uh, the Gorman mask, or I think they call it like the troop leader mask or something. And, like, I don't know if I'm able to actually, like, do this this late. Like, you might have to do this, like, you know. I love this dude. Like, he's having a good fucking time. There we go. I mean, if I can get in there and still save the cows at this time, I will. But I don't know that I'm going to have enough time because, you know, I didn't initiate the whole, like, thing where she's like, yeah, let's do it. Opens at six. Yeah, I don't think I can do it. Because she'll come in here at, like, 2 a.m., I think. I wonder if there is, like, a special cutscene, though, for... I'm gonna, like, speed the time up a little bit. Yeah, I don't know if there is, like, a cutscene or not for, you know, being here but not really being able to save them. I like how I can't hit this. There we go. Just, you know, go ahead and destroy that. Give Link some casual brain damage. Alright, it's 2 a.m. There she is, though. Crimea, Crimea. That's not Crimea. Romani. Oh, she just won't talk to you, I think. Oh. It's almost time. 
Oh, maybe she will let you do it. I, I want to talk to her, though. Oh, that's... That's good, though. This, like, minigame always makes me nervous, though. Because I am really bad at using the bow on Epona. So I just go, like, really slow and, like, casually fire arrows! You can also tell how close they are by the dog. Like, if the dog is barking, they're, like, kind of close, but not too close. Is it really? I've never actually, like, done this with the bunny hood. I've always used Epona, even though I'm really bad at riding her and shooting my bow. Oops. Well, thankfully it goes by really quick when you don't have Time slowed. It's not really like the hardest thing, like regardless, unless you just do that. Okay, Epona, we need to stop. There. Okay, that was like really scary. Man, that was that was really really like close. Yeah, I've never tried that on foot. We did it. We won. Thank you. Thanks to you, the cows are giving thanks too. It's almost time for my sister to get up, so I have to get back to bed. See you later, little hero. You're precious. All right, so we have that taken care of now. Um, so with that, I can do the thing where you help um, Crimea get to town at 6 p.m. Yeah, that is true. I hadn't ever really considered it. That you could just, you know, run to where they spawn. Oh, 6 a.m. I've just never done it on foot. Because, I mean, Epona's a little faster, but not by much when you have the bunny hood. Maybe if I do this again, I'll... I'll try it on foot. <laughs> yeah, I will. I just love giving Link some, like, casual brain damage. I'm just gonna, like, angrily stand here at this door. I guess I could get the mask out for- Whoa, this looks really fucking weird. I 
Why are you closed? Tell me why you're closed. Okay, so this thing said how you do this. Um, I love all these puppies. Um, okay, let's see. Rough, today I should do pretty well. Fuck you. Rough, today I feel like I can win. Ruff, I'm here for my wife and child. There's no way I can lose. Um, come, come here, dog. Who whine? My head. I stayed up too late. I shouldn't have been barking at that moon all night. I love that you just throw the dogs. R Ruff, I should do all right. Yeah, I'm sure that dog with a headache feels great now that I threw him. I'm tired. I'm going to take the day off tomorrow. Can dogs do that? Ruff, I don't feel much different than usual. Ruff, I can't predict the future, so I don't know how I'll do. Pick up some of the little brown ones. I didn't even see them. Ruff, my four paws feel lighter than usual today. Ruff, I feel like I could win, but then I feel like I could lose too. At least you're honest. Come here, child. Ooh, lion. Oh, my belly hurts. Ugh, I feel terrible. Okay, who was it that was, like, betting on doing really good? The little blue one? Yeah. We'll try this, fella. I have a lot of rupees, so I mean... Oh, shit. I, I just... Here, hold on. We'll put him down. What do you want? And in this weather? This is Mama Muyan's doggy racetrack. Other than enjoying the dog races, there's nothing for you to do here. Do you want to try a dog race? The minimum bet is 10 rupees. We still try. Then first, go in and fetch the doggy you think will run the fastest and bring it here. I got my boy right here. How do I show her? Is that doggy fine? If the dog you brought me takes first place, you get triple your bet. Second place gets double. If the dog you've chosen places third through fifth, you'll break even and get back however much you bet. If your dog does any worse than that, you'll lose whatever you bet. How much will you bet? Um, so this thing says, like, the max is 50, but... But I, I'll just do 90. <laughs> Alright, good luck, little pup. Little blue puppy. I remember playing this for, like, hours on end, like, just watching it. Because I didn't realize that, like, the mask was important. Oh no, I think my puppy's, like, gonna lose. That little yellow dog. I thought about picking him, too. Oh, motherfucker. He was in six. If he had just finished one better. That was a bad choice. If you don't know how your pup is feeling, you won't be able to know how it'll do in competition. Get with it. Okay, let's go try it out. Oh, now that's mean. 
I'm here for my wife and child. There's no way I'll lose. I'm gonna put this guy, like, out here. Because he's the one that I want. I don't know if he'll stay out there or not. I'll just, I'll just grab this little dude and tell her this is who I want. I mean, and if I get to the third day and don't have, like, the money for that mask, I can take it out of the bank. Oh, he's off to a great start in last place. Come on, get around him at least. Come on, don't let him, like, get in front of you. There you go. There you go. Look at him. Look at him go. Oh, come on, little brown fella. You got this. Oh, little brown dog. No, no, get in there. Get in there. No! Oh, man, those last two, though. Oh, almost. Well, I'll give you back the amount you put down. Alright, let's go pick us another puppy. I don't feel much different than usual. Here for my wife and child, I won't lose. I'm gonna throw this guy out here again. And see if there's anyone else that has a similar statement. I think I should do pretty well. Aw. I love the little blue dog. Today I feel like I can win. And four paws feel lighter than normal. I'm too old for this. What do you say? Like, my right leg is all fucked up. I'm too old for this. My right leg hurts. The hind one. Yeah, I'm sure throwing him makes it feel better. No, I don't want this dog. I want this dog. I feel like I could win, but then I feel like I could lose, too. Oh yeah, I feel unstoppable. I don't think I'll lose. No, I'll take the little brown dog that I put out there again. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh no. Is he in here again? Oh shit, he's like already doing laps. Little dude like is just raring to go, I guess. Come on, dude. Let's go. I'm here for my wife and child. Oh yeah, I need to actually like talk to Kremia so I can tell her that I want to go with her. Alright, here we go. Good luck, little fella. He starts off weak, but he finishes strong. Come on, you got this. Get get up there. Just go around them. Don't try to like run through them. There you go. Look at you. Look at him go. Oh fuck. Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Oh look at him. Look at him. He's coming up. No! Ah! He got like fourth. I mean he did a little better than last time, but. Okay, what are you looking like? <laughs> I should do all right. I don't feel much different than usual. Here for my wife and child. There's no way I could lose. These little dogs are weird. Huh. 
Oops. <laughs> Alright, get it done. Man, this dog is like so like basic colored for like compared to the last ones I've used. The little blue and the brown one. Come on, come on, get up there. At least get me in like fifth place. Come on. Come on, go a little faster. Oh, get around the outside. No, 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 no. <laughs> Look. Oh my god, that blue one is like on his last leg. <laughs> I think Kremia leaves at 6 p.m., so I have time to play the doggy races till then. I like how I, like, nabbed that dog as he went by. Like, yoink! These are all just like really basic dogs. Um, how are you? Even for my wife and child, there's no way I can lose. Okay. Nothing to it but to do it. He's like so far back. There you go. Oh, oh, look at him. Look at him. He's doing it. Oh, shit. No, get up there. Get up there. Oh, he's doing it. Oh, bitch. Just get around them. Get around them. Do something. No. Get around them. Ah. All you had to do was go around. He tried to like cut through them. I can't believe that. Oh well. At least I'm not like losing money. I love all the little, like, barks. The little puppy barks. Okay. Man, I thought this would be, like, an in and out operation. Like, we'd be able to do this and, like, not spend the whole day like dog racing. Surprise that little blue one's out in front. Oh, he's dropping fast. I was gonna say the blue one was like in critical condition. On, get around them. Look at you. Oh man, look at him though. I think he got third, so I'm at least like safe in my money still. Is that blue one? <laughs> there he is. There he is. I like how when the race is over, all the dogs like spawn half in the ground. Yeah, bringing up the rear, little blue dog. Come, 
come here. I love how much, like, force they put into barking, too. Okay. He always starts out, like, in the back. But, like, they also try to, like, cut through the other dogs instead of, like, going around them. Oh, shit, look at him! Look at him! He's doing really good! Oh, look at him! Look at him go! No, 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 no! Don't let the other ones get in front of you! Go! 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 Oh! Oh, hell yeah! How much did I get? 270 rupees. Oh, you only had to... <laughs> okay, I get it. Oh man, good times. Oh well, I mean, it's nice to have all the money anyway. I love how there's like echoes of puppies. Let's see, so I think Kremia is in here. There she is. Oh my, hello. The money's gonna take our milk to Glock Town too. You're looking after the place. The cows would be all alone otherwise. Yes, sister. I'm going by wagon into town. Would you like a ride? I'll be leaving about 6 o'clock this evening, so you can join me if you'd like. Alright, so let's remember to actually do this this time. Because last time I told her I'd go, and then I never went. Alright, so... I actually am not going to be needing any money right now. So what I'm going to do is drop it off at the bank so I can work towards that one uh, 5,000 rupee heart piece. And then I'll go to Icona Valley to start all of that shit. I like the, uh, the feel of day two, how it's, like, all rainy, but it's not, like, sad, it's just a nice shower. Let's see. We're almost at 2,000 rupees, so I need five, or 3,000 more. Oh, I need to buy some beans, too. Um, it's probably faster to go to Woodfall. I'll just circle back around and get them from... The, the guy in the... Deku Palace. I, I do like the music on day two as well. It's... I don't know that it's my favorite music, but I I think it it's the one that I could like tolerate the most. Cause I've heard the day one music so much and day three is just like sad. Okay, we're in the swamp. 
Yeah, good shit. <laughs> to get what I'm looking for, I need to go into here. Right? I think. Yeah. Oh, right, I forgot I didn't bring the princess back, so they're still trying to, like, burn the monkey. Now, why the first time I came in here, why did it show me where they were looking, but now it's not. I think I also went the wrong way. Oh my god, his head gets so small. Where's... Oh, there he is. I guess I could get, like, thrown out and be, like, just fine. <laughs> Aha! An intruder! They're like, hey, dumbass. Why, but oh fuck, these scrubs like scare me a little bit. Yeah, I don't know why those the like first time I came through here, the Deku scrubs like you could see where they were looking, but now I can't. That hole is where I'm going. There we go. Now on the upside, um, I don't have to use bottles to fill them with um, the water, I can just, um, use the Song of Storms. Let's see, and I'll need two of them. I think. Why was I getting my first magic bean? Hmm. Now I don't very well remember. Oh well. Um, and I need to take it to the coast. Yeah, there's only one that I needed magic beans for, so... I guess my dumbass has two now.
All right. Go over here onto this little like ledge. Point up and almost not be able to reach it. This shit in here. And that should cause this to grow, right? That's what I've heard. I mean, unless it doesn't work in this version. Oh, no, it does. Okay. We'll get on there then. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna have to play the, uh, the song for the Scarecrow. Oh god, we get to sit through this awful song again. Now you gotta wait like 20 minutes for it to play the very last note. There it is. <laughs> it needs like a huge gap in between those last ones. Alright, we'll have to be careful and kind of snag him. Alright, there we go. 38. We are 38 out of 52, I think. I think that's what I had Ow! What I had said. Brokeling's fucking legs. Alright, so what is there for us to do now? I guess I can start working through Iconic Canyon stuff. Um, get the Gibdo mask. This place, as one would expect, is very freaky to me. Tattle, please. I'm busy. What business have you in Iconic Kingdom, land where only the dead roam? This is no place for one as full of life as you are. Or do you say that you wish to join the dead? That is fine. If that is the case, then sleep gently to the melody of darkness that the great composer Sharp shall play. Join the ranks of the dead. Nope. What is this? The song? No, it can't be the song. I like how all the bones disappear. Alright, and this will start the river and the music box house.
I have um, an ocarina, like, and I can play this song. It is kind of odd, but interesting. And there we go. Like, it goes from like, haha, that's so weird, to like, that's really fucking sad later. Flat, my dear brother, forgive your foolish brother who dreamt of the revival of the royal family. Ye who do not fear the dead. With my brother's song, you have broken the curse that was placed upon me. It is all thanks to you. We dead should not be lingering here in this land. It was all a trick of that masked one who had upset things. If you truly do not fear the dead, I wish for you to go to the temple in this land and sever the root of the evil curse that tormented us. To do that, I, the only one who knows the way into the temple, shall direct you to the king. The king is in the ruins of Iconic Castle, waiting the Awaiting the coming of the one who will break the curse. I have made my final request. Uh, um, which one? The uh, actual, like, Stone Tower Temple or Iconic Castle? Because both of them are pretty difficult for, like, kids. Oh, okay, yeah, you're... I assume still that you're talking about Iconic Castle. <laughs> I love her. She's adorable. <laughs> um, let's see. I just want to make sure I know how to play the song, right? That's not it. That is. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, the Stone Tower Temple and Iconic Castle are both just like shit. Father? Father! Pamela. What have I been doing this whole time? You haven't been doing anything. You had a bad dream. You were just having a little nightmare. Pamela. Alright, there we go. You got the Gibdo mask. This mask was once the hideous face of Pamela's father. This mask looks so real that even a Gibdo would mistake you as one of its own. Let them be, don't you get it? You're so insensitive. I think their house is like my favorite. And I don't know why, like it's just such a cute little house. I thought there was like a notebook you could read. But I guess not. I like how you can just walk through like all of this. Oh, it's over here. 
Link, please don't walk in the book. God. And you call me insensitive? Oh, wait, no, she did. <laughs> I, I said that like Tattle was the one that made me get up on the like the fucking table. Um, what you did for my father. Thank you. But you helping us, it's a secret from my father. Whenever anything strange happens, my father immediately starts talking about doing research. And he does all kinds of crazy things, so... Once he calms down a bit, I think I'll try convincing him to quit researching in this dangerous place and go back to town. So, if my father sees you again, I'm sorry. I'm just not allowed to, like, view the father. Oh, isn't this a fairy? Is this yours, young man? I am the famed academic who researches various ghosts and similar so-called supernatural phenomena. By the way, the song Farewell to Gibdos, which the music box is now playing, drives away Gibdos. I discovered it after many years of researching Gibdos. In regards to ghosts, there isn't another academic who can match my knowledge, so ask me anything you like. This man's like fashion sense. It's been some time since I've seen a fairy this lively. Say, Hongman, would you permit me to do research on this fairy? Tattle's like, no, 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 no! Okay, well... You know, I don't really remember what use the Gibdo mask has. But, I have it, regardless. Um... Oh, right, you need it for, um, down in the well. That's a whole nother can of worms I will get to later. I can kind of start some of Icona Castle. Is Sharp here? <laughs> Wait a minute, I think he... Yeah, I remember the Gibdo dungeon shit. It's so, like... Annoying. <laughs> Tattle, please. Oh, he's waiting for me in the well? Oh. Uh. Uh, no. Uh, fuck the well. I hate that. Uh, I don't want to do the well. Uh, I, I, I hate the, like, fucking well. It's, like... Yeah, I know, I know. I know, I know. Uh, I wish I could be like Tingle and just like fly all the time. And just have no cares in the world. Um. Well, I have three hours before I need to go help uh, Kremia. Whoo, Link. Link just like smashed his arms. Well, fuck it. I'll at least, like, kind of start in on it. Leave it, leave it. Leave me something delicious to chomp on. Something that sprouts when it's watered. Preferably five of them. Five of them? Fuck off. Something blue. God damn it, you guys. I don't have five of them. I have one. Uh. 
kettle, please. Yeah, get one from, um, Kotake. And there is a Deku scrub that sells, um, magic beans. I just hate this guy. Um... Yeah, I mean, that too, but like, uh, <laughs> let's see, so I think the one that sells you the seeds was in the, uh, in here, maybe? I don't know. I'm having such a hard time. You would think that, like, this being my favorite game, like, I would remember it better, but, like, <laughs> no. Remembering is for chumps. Oh, well... It sounded like one of those notes was, like, really off-key. <laughs> um, so that wasn't the one, so... We'll go to Snowhead. Or, the Mountain Village. I just want to see how much these cost. If they're more than ten, I'll buy them from the guy in the cave near Zor- uh... The Deku Palace. That's just so much stuff. I know a lot of it, though, you can actually get within the, uh, the dungeon, so I'm just gonna play it, like, not by ear, but just as I go, I'm gonna just kind of gather up stuff. I know it's not the most, like, optimal way to do it, but, like, it's just the way I've always done it. <laughs> like, I know it's better to just, you know, gather up the things beforehand, but... Oh, he sells green potions. Who the fuck was the Deku scrub that was selling beans? Oh, it's. God damn it. It's the one that's in Clock Town now. Fuck. It's literally the second fucking Deku scrub. And the one that moves in and clock down. Oh, there's Anju. Oh, nice. So, I mean, they're the same price, but they're more like easy to get to here. <laughs> okay. So we have all five of those. Um... Oh, the one that wants the blue stuff? <laughs> right? Um, four. I have two hours before I have to go meet with, um, Kremia. Oh, 
Oh, okay, I get what you mean. I thought you meant you could give the one with the blue, that once the blue stuff can take Chateau Romani, but I'm like, why? Um, well, I guess since I do have to go to the ranch, I can pick up some milk while I'm over there. God damn it. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I was gonna do, was play the song for the cow in the ranch. So, I mean, same... Same idea. Just different plays. I mean, you play the, um, the song for the cow and it like, I guess, like just juices itself. So, I mean, I guess, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if this one will give it to me with, uh, Crimea being in front of it though. Nah, I didn't think so. And I don't think there's any cows outside right now. I mean, when you play this song, the cow, like, literally speaks to Link and tells him, like, that it's so excited. And it just starts, like, gushing. Okay, uh, well, usually there's cows outside. I don't think they're out there since it's raining. It is, however, closing in on time to go on the ride with Crimea. Oops, I wanted to roll into this. Dog. Dog. Yeah. It's another, like, favorite thing of mine because I get to, like, basically do bow stuff. Like, that was always my favorite part of these, like, Nintendo 64 Zelda games was using the bow. Let's see. We're getting pretty close to, like having everything too. I just need the Elegy of Emptiness, Postman's Hat, All Night Mask, the Keaton Mask, um, the Romani Mask, the Cow Mask thing, which I'll be getting in just a little bit, um, Gorman's Mask, which you get after you get the Cow Mask, uh, the, like, Marriage Mask, the Great Fairy Sword, and the Light Arrows, Stone Mask and Fierce Deity's Mask. And then an extra bottle, and I still have to do the, um... The quest for, like, going into the Stockpot Inn, getting the key, you know, all of that stuff. It's not really a quest, but I, it's still something that I would like to do. Being, uh, Link the Goron. Okay, night of the second day. Crimea should be out here. I think. No. No. <laughs> she's not. Oh no, she's right there. I also love her horse or donkey or whatever this is. Like, I love this animal. Oh, good evening. I'm going to town now to deliver milk. Would you like a ride? That's great. Tonight I'm kind of lonely. 
I welcome company. Donkey! I guess it's been a while now since our father died. I'm trying to take care of the ranch, but things have been getting all. I hate when it goes too fast. My sister Romani has been worried too. She's practicing using the bow. She says it's to stop the ghosts. Say, what are the town folks saying about that moon? It's bigger than before, isn't it? In town, I have a friend. Her name's Anju. Anju, the day after tomorrow is her wedding. I wonder if it will fall, that thing. Yeah, some of the most, like, depressing, like, interactions are between Crimea and Romani. What? The road? Boy, get your bow ready. Yeah. Yeah, that's when it's the, like, most depressing, is right before the moon's about to kill everyone. First Milk Road is blocked by a boulder, and now... We have to take the sea tour through Ugly Country. Are you ready, boy? I'm going to try to get us through here as fast as I can. If any pursuers come from behind, chase them off with your arrows. They may be after my cargo of milk bottles. Do you understand? Thanks. I'm relying on you. If we can get through here, I'll have a big thanks for you. Yeah, a hug with her massive jugs. Whoa, back up, son. I can kind of angle it a little lower. Back up, back up now. I just... I love how it's just like fucking like killing them. Whoa, back up now. Back up. Get away from... I love their like fugly ass horses too. Got him. Oh my god, you can still do it. <laughs> Link's like, yeah, fuck off. Mr. Barton was happy to get his first delivery in quite a while. Thank you. You were pretty cool. This isn't very big, but accept my thanks. And there we go. Got Romani's mask. Where it will see to show you're a member of the exclusive milk bar latte. By doing one good deed, a child becomes an adult. That mask is only given to a limited number of adult customers. It's proof of membership. I now acknowledge you as being an adult. You guarded the ranch's milk. This is added to your notebook. <laughs> yeah, we can get the drinks. I like how all of that only takes an hour. Um... So, let's see. I'm still missing these. I'll go see if I can get into the milk bar and if Mr. Uh, Gorman's there. I'm like, yeah, get me in there. Ah, yes, you are a member. I'm sorry, but the bar opens at 10 o'clock at night. I'm getting things ready now. If you just want to talk, I'll let you stay. I don't think I need to explain this to a member, but we're called a milk bar, and we serve the milk of the night. 
Our most popular, of course, is Chateau Romani. It's a vintage milk. It comes from Romani Ranch, and the current price is 200 rupees. You're not surprised? There is more surprising thing about this milk. It depends on who you ask, but there are, are those who consider this milk as a source of magic power. It says just one gulp, they say. It's expensive, but thankfully, it's the most—it's the one we serve the most. Last night, we got some fresh milk in for the first time in quite a while. Finally, we can feel good about our drink's quality again. But that moon, our regular customers have all fled, so there really isn't any good news. Um, I guess while I'm here, I could play the music up here. Maybe. Oh no, you have to wait for Mr. Toto to be here. I like the way the milk bar looks. It's it's cute. Um You know, I would I would agree with you, but like milk like makes me like deathly ill. So, I would be, like, in the bathroom the whole time. <laughs> I would probably still, you know, partake of a drink or two, but, yeah, no, I... It doesn't agree with my stomach too well. Let's see, so... I don't think I have a lot to do until... Well, ten. Um, because I think I've... basically done what I need to here by <laughs> cracking my skull on the door. Um, I've gotten the rupees that were over there. Chillins. <laughs> oh my god! I can hide in the box. Link is box. Rip. Um. I'm gonna like turn time back to normal. <laughs> yeah, solid link. Just so I don't have to wait so long for it to be 10. There he is. I wasn't planning on buying the Chateau Romani at the moment. I don't think there's any need to, because, I mean, I don't really need it. <laughs> Ah, you are a member. Please come in. Okay, there's Mr. Toto, too. <laughs> I love the way he sits there. Like, it's <laughs> he's so weird. Okay, we can slow this back down. Wink looks so cute in that little hat. You know, I like how it's like a sake cup with like...
fried fish. Hey, you! Milk. It's milk. Can you get tipsy from something like milk? Oh. What? Don't look at me. Anyway, I'm just the despised second son. I can't handle horses like my older brother. I can't take care of horses like my younger brother. I left the ranch, came to know the world of show business, traveled around, but for what? For nothing! Oh, I just had to enter the world of entertainment, didn't I? It's cold. So cold. What? Don't look at me! Okay, okay. Um... I like how I, <laughs> I like how I, I played the song of healing by just like spinning my control stick. Okay, um, I can go up here and do Mr. Toto's thing. We were scheduled to do a show, but it got canceled. This place has a reputation for being quite a great live venue, so it's a shame. I'd like to do a sound check, though. I just want to see what it would have been like. Hey, you, could you help me with the performance? Okay, you play the ocarina, right? Go stand under the center spotlight. Okay, play your ocarina like this. Okay, that feels good. What feels good? That wretched, senseless bracket? Toto, the band manager, was added to your notebook. Alright, and then we can put these two up. I'll take off my cute little cow hat. Oops. Okay, you play the drums, right? Go stand under the rear left spotlight. Okay, play your drums like this. I almost fucked up that last note. <laughs> okay, that feels good. What feels good, that wretched, senseless racket? I like how Mr. Toto's like, I don't really give a fuck. Like, you go off if you want to. Okay, you play the guitar, right? Stand beneath the spotlight on the right. Well, get in there. Okay, play your guitar like this. I know, right? And I like that Mr. Toto doesn't, like, even have anything to say about the fact that, like, he's literally becoming, like, three different people. Okay, you play the pipes, right? Go stand under the front left spotlight. I love Mr. Toto's, like, tail, too. It's cute. Okay, now play your pipes like this. Bravo! That was the best! Th that melody... 
that melody. It brings back so many memories. It's their old standby, Ballad of the Windfish. That's a song that members of the previous generation of the Indiegogos made famous. I entered show business because I heard that song at the Carnival of Time long ago. By doing performances, I thought maybe I'd get to meet the singers of that song. The one you heard singing must have been the original Lulu, mother of the current lead singer who's also named Lulu. So her daughter is singing now. Is that so? I'd like to hear that. Yeah, here comes a scrub. I'm sorry I booed you. Please take my mask. And there we go, the Gorman mask. You got the circus leader's mask. This mask looks so sad it could put a tear in even a demon's eye. You saw the tears of a circus leader, Gorman. This is at a tear notebook. People related to Gorman will react to this. This mask doesn't really have too much of a like use besides like making him like cry in like spectacular anime fashion with like sparkles and all. But um, you can go talk to the Gorman brothers as well and they will react to it. Um, so I'm just gonna put this back on. Okay, well with that done, I'll go save and quit. And then work a little more on, like, kind of rounding out the rest of what I have to do. I'll go kill that bird a couple times to gather up some rupees. When I start, like, in a couple weeks. Alright, so there we go. That was a good chunk of, like, progress made. But, yeah... Thank you for coming and, you know, hanging out and all of that good jazz. Maybe I'll be able to gather up, like, most of the heart pieces, <laughs> like, the next time we get down to this. So, yeah. I will be back Monday doing, uh, what will I be doing? I think Undertale. I'll start another game of Undertale. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next week. So good night.